Ely Tran, Philadelphia. I'm with Sifu Lan Tran. Um, my question to you today is what qualities make a good training partner? What is a good training partner? Oh, a good training partner is one that allows um, each other, like, or each of the training partners, you know, allow the condition, um, the space and the condition in order for the skill to be realized. Right? And what's necessary in this is so that both partners understand the point is no ego. Right? Okay. Uh, in, in the beginning levels, it's not about domination or dominating each other. Okay? So one, when one offers oneself, you know, the structure for your partner to realize an energy, um, it has to be taken in context that the energy, the structure that you're offering is freely given, right? With no sense of neutralizing or changing so that the opponent can't realize the skill that's trying to be realized or recognized because we're trying to always recognize and realize and not learning something new. So ego and all this other neutralizing kind of stuff causes a blockage in the learning process and then immediately both training partners will be training the wrong viewpoint and that's what's important. Both our partners have to have respect for each other and to understand that the training is not about combat. The training is to help each other recognize and realize. Okay? And it goes both ways in each exercise. Thank you.